Review problems. Problem number four. Problem number four. Six stand up comics A, B, C, and D, um, E, and F. Again, it's A, B, C, D, E, and F are to be performed on a single evening at a comedy club. The order of performance is determined by random selection. Find the probability that first A, comic D will perform fifth. So for letter A, you have letter D, will perform so this is uh you're looking for the probability and the total number of comics here would be six so those are the uh, stand-up comedian six six of them so therefore you only have one for D, so the probability would be one out of six. So that's one over six. So that would be the answer for letter A. Since you have only one D and total of six, so one over six is the probability. For letter B, comic B will perform fifth. So it doesn't matter which the order in this case because the B will perform only one time so that's 1 over 6 again for B but there is a continuation it says and comic C the word and means multiplication so you multiply and that would be Comic C will perform last. So C, it's only one uh, out of uh, five now because we already choose in the first one, which is one out of six. So you have only five now instead of six because one is already performed uh, in the fifth. So it should be one over five. And then since this is multiplication, the word and here means multiplication. So one times one is one, multiplying the top numbers and multiplying the bottom numbers, six times five would be 30. So the answer for letter B is one over 30. That would be the probability. Letter C, the comedians will perform in the following order. D, B, C, F, E, A. So we have only one set up like this. So and the bottom part would be the possibilities for the arrangement, which this is in order. So the calculation would be permutation so that would be 1 over 6 factorial and 1 over 6 factorial you use your calculator to calculate that or you can actually see 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that's 6 factorial if you use your scientific calculator TIE 384 you can press 6 and then press the math button and go all the way in the last column probability and select number 2 which is permutation you can do that but uh, we're looking at the factorial notation which is 4 so 4 that would be the selection here because we're using 6 factorial Okay, so if you use number two, it should be six uh, with that number two and then six. 
So you will get the same answer anyway, but we selected four for this. So four, it's the factorial symbol and then hit enter and then enter again. You will get 720. Uh, that would be at the bottom. So that should be a fraction, 1 over 720. So let me uh, rewrite that. Okay. That should be at the bottom, the 720. So it's like a fraction. So that should be one because we have one there and six factorial is 720 so 7 20 is at the bottom so 1 over 720 is the probability for C for letter D comic E so you have comic E will perform third so that's 1 over 6 and then you're using the word or means plus so when you see or then it could be either of the two so you're going to have 1 over 6 also for comic A to perform third adding this it gives you 2 over 6 and then reducing this by dividing 2 uh, on the top and on the bottom, that would be 1 over 3. So the answer would be 1 third, 1 over 3. That's 1 third. Okay, so those are the answers for problem 4. Now problem number 5. Determine the truth a value for the statement when p is false and r is true okay so we have to know all the truth tables here so we have the conditional the arrow going to the right is conditional we have the um, complement the not symbol which is the wavy symbol and we have also the or symbol which is the v symbol so p is false so we can actually put that there and then our r it's true since this is not r so that should be false here okay and then you're looking at on the right side that would be r that is true and then not p take the opposite of false that should be true okay so now we're taking that statement as going to copy that not and then you have false uh, false here and copying the conditional symbol now r here would be t and the v shape is the or symbol and not p is t now when you say false going to false the only time when you have the conditional statement become false when you have if you're looking at your truth table when you have t going to f the resulting one here is f otherwise everything is true so in this case this is false going to false in conditional our answer here would be t so we have um, the nut symbol uh, 
and then inside this would be uh, true so we have true here and then the conditional statement now true with or and true here would be t so that would be the result so if you have t or t would be t and now this is t going to t so that's of course t so we have not t so what is the opposite of t that would be false so our answer would be false here so our answer would be f which is false uh, for number five okay the uh, key strategy here for number five is knowing your true tables so here you need to know the conditional statement the not statement and the or statement so you need to know all the true tables for those statements so you can answer this question so that's problem four and problem number five again that's problem four and problem five